Hi everyone. Um, I had a, requ a request for a uh, paint tutorial. Well, actually I had somebody ask me how I did the paint job on the um, beach themed frame that I made um, for a swap over at Two Shabby Sisters Studio. Um, and I told her I would do a tutorial on it. Um, this is the same technique that I used on the altered box that I made for my friend Sybil for her anniversary. Um, and I do have a video on that, but it's just showing the tech, the, the act finished project. It's not showing the actual technique. This is a technique that I learned from Psycho Moms. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. I will put a link to her video in the description box below. So if you'd like to check out her tutorial. But um, this is the way that I do it. Um, first, you, um, I, and I'm sorry, I apologize. I do not have any more boxes or frames to alter, so I had to look for something wood that I could paint, and I found this wooden tag in my stash. So I'm going to use this. I know it's kind of small, but this will show you the how to do the technique. Now, the colors I used on my beach-themed frame were um, Laguna from Apple Barrel. It's this pretty uh, green color. And Regency Blue from Apple Barrel as well. And Cobalt Blue, which is also from Apple Barrel. Um, these are just regular acrylic paints, craft paints. Um, you can uh, use folk art or whatever brand you choose to use. Um, I'm going to use the same colors that I used on my frame so I can show you how I achieved that technique. Um, and basically what I do is I start off with whatever color I want my base coat to be. In that, in that, excuse me, in this case it's going to be... Oh, I forgot to shake my paint. Oh, that's a nasty mess. Okay, we'll clean that up after the video. <laughs> um, we're going to start with the uh, Laguna. Um, so basically all you're going to do is lay down your base coat. I'm using a, a regular sponge um, uh, brush for this. No big fancy anything. So you just put your base coat on. And I don't worry too much about, um, I don't worry too awful much about um, getting full coverage because that's kind of the look that you're looking for anyways, is kind of a modeled effect. So there's my base coat, okay. I'm sorry, I have to, I have to do this, I have to clean this up real quick. It's driving me nuts and I don't have a paper towel right here. Uh, oh, yeah, I do right here. Sorry. <laughs> now I'm all full of paint. Sorry, guys. That drives me nuts, and I don't know. Maybe I have, like, obsessive compulsive disorder or something. I don't know. <laughs> but that drives me nuts to have open paint that's all gooey like that. I'll, I'll clean it up better afterwards, but I don't want to leave it open so that it dries out even further during the video. All right, so you have your base coat down on your project and normally I would let this dry completely and since I put such a um, a thin coat on here it's pretty much dry anyways I can see a few spots that are still wet but for the sake of the video I'm gonna go ahead and continue on so what I did next is I took my um, lightest color which is the Regency blue and I just took another paintbrush. I use a, a fine tip, you know, um, I don't know if it says on here. No, it just says Craft Smart by Royal. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, it's not a very big brush tip. Um, I believe Tanya used a fan brush in hers. You, and for this, you want a dry brush, not wet. Okay, so just dip your brush just barely get the tip paint on the tip 
and then you're going to go just make random stripes like this and and then what I did is take your finger and wipe it off right like that just wipe it off and if you're happy with that look great if not add a little more light blue it's okay play with it until you like what it looks like so then I'm just gonna wipe it off with my finger now you can also do this technique um, Tanya uses a wet paper towel I believe in her tutorial and I have used that technique before too and it works great um, depending on how much water is on your paper towel will depend on how much paint you are taking off so what you're doing is you're just layering paint basically you're you're putting it on you're taking it off you're putting it on you're taking it off so I'm pretty satisfied with the way that this looks um, so I'm going to add my next color, which is uh, the darkest color, cobalt blue. So I'll just put a little bit in my little paint palette here. And you don't need much. And this is where the finger painting comes in. I wasn't sure when I did my frame that I wanted to use that royal blue color. Um, and I had put it on <laughs> with... You know, I, I had put it put it on, and I'm like, oh, that looks horrible. Hurry, wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off. I'm like, hmm, that kind of looks kind of cool. Let's do it again. <laughs> wipe it off, wipe it off, wipe it off. You see the effect that you get with that? You're just putting it on, taking it off. And that I kind of did by accident when I was doing my frame. And... Um, So I was I was quite pleased with the results actually of the frame. And this tag's looking pretty cute, I think. Um, maybe a little more blue on this side. Put it on, wipe it off. Don't be afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, it, it washes off with soap and water, not a big deal. See what I'm doing there? I I didn't quite get that covered with the base coat, but that's alright. You can go back in and add more of any of the colors that you want to get the achieved look. But that's basically how you do it. Now with this, I would probably go in... Um, I would probably go in with a little more of the light blue. You know, just kind of add a little more light blue to kind of soften it up a little bit. You know... It, there is no right or wrong in crafts, in art, in painting. There's no right or wrong. It's just what you like. You know, if you see something that you like, you know, go for it. Now, I'm not too pleased with that look, but I'll play with it some more. And I will get a look that I'm happy with. So that's basically the technique. You just put your base coat on let it dry then uh, take whatever color you want to use next and um, put it on with the brush and wipe it off and uh, then you the last coat you put on um, the last color you put on it you do finger painting basically now you can finger paint all of it if you'd like but that's just how I did it um, have fun play around with it see what you can create you can use any color combination that your heart desires. Um, so far I have only tried this technique using browns and then now the blues and greens um, but I'm sure it would look great with lots of other colors too. Um, if you have any questions please leave a comment below I'd be happy to answer any questions you may have and um, I'm gonna play around with this tag a little more see if I can get it looking more like the way I want it to. But that's the basic technique that I used. And don't forget to check out Tanya's tutorial. I'll put the link in the description box below. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful evening. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.